Okay, for this Lewis structure example, we'll be drawing the molecule OCN minus. And before we draw it, we should use this equation right here. Number of bonds equals the demand minus the supply all over two. It will let us know how many bonds our molecule should contain. So what is our demand? Our demand is to satisfy each atom to have a noble gas configuration. So what does that mean? Well, oxygen likes to be surrounded by eight valence electrons as well as carbon and nitrogen because they follow the octet rule, so they can be like neon. Um, if we add all those up, that will be 24, so that's our demand. Our supply is how many valence electrons each atom can actually contribute. And oxygen is found in group 16, so it contributes 6. Carbon is found in group 14, so 4. Nitrogen, 15, so 5. And we cannot forget we have a negative right here on our molecule, so we have to add another electron. So 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16. So 24 minus 16, which is 8. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. The reason why I have three molecules drawn here is because I'll show you three different different ways of separating our electrons and show you which one is the best molecule. So, let's see here, let's get out our pencil. So, we have four bonds to give, so let's do that first. We can first connect all of our atoms to make sure our molecule is connected in the first place. Now we have two bonds to give. So we could give it between this oxygen car carbon and between the carbon and nitrogen, or we could give it a triple bond on the nitrogen. That would equal four still, one plus one plus one plus one, or we could give a triple bond on the oxygen. Now we need to finish giving our valence electrons, so let's do that. These are just electrons I'm gonna drag over. So oxygen over here needs to have an octet. So does this nitrogen. This oxygen needs to have an octet. Let me uh, give some more electrons here. This nitrogen needs an octet. And these need an octet as well, so I need some more of these. So this oxygen needs an octet. So does this nitrogen. Okay, now if we count them all up, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, which is our supply, so that checks out. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, checks out with our supply. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Perfect. Now we need to figure out which atom has a charge, which is the formal charge formula. And that is the valence electrons minus the lone electrons plus the number of bonds. Let's do this molecule first. Let's look at the oxygen. So oxygen is in group 16, so it has six valence electrons minus the lone electrons, which is one, two, three, four. It forms a double bond, so it's plus two. So six minus four plus two is zero. So this has a zero formal charge. Let's do the carbon. Carbon is found in group 14, so it's four valence, minus the lone electrons, which it has none, and it has a total of four bonds, so zero plus four. 4 minus 4 is 0, so this carbon does not have a charge. We should immediately know that the nitrogen would hold the negative charge because we already did the formal charges on these atoms and this molecule must have a negative on it, so it would fall into nitrogen in this case, but we can still do it just in case. So nitrogen is found in group 15, so plus 5 valence electrons minus the lone electrons, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, plus how many bonds? It has a double bond, so 1, 2. 5 minus 6 is negative 1, so that is why this nitrogen has a negative charge. Okay, let's look at this molecule now. Let's look at the oxygen. Oxygen, once again, is found in group 16, so that's 6. Minus the lone electrons, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Minus, or plus, the number of bonds, which is a single bond, so that's plus 1. So it would be 6 minus 7, which is negative 1. So, 
this oxygen has a negative in this molecule. So what is carbon? Carbon equals four minus lone electrons, it has none. It forms a total of four bonds, a single and a triple, so one plus three is four. Four minus four is a zero, so that carbon does not have a charge. L let's look at nitrogen. That is a total of five valence minus the lone electrons, it has two, one, two, plus the number of bonds, one, two, three, because it forms a triple bond. So it's five minus five, and that'd be zero. So oxygen holds the charge in this case. So let's look at our final molecule. Um, oxygen is found in group 16, so it has six valence. My lone electrons has two, and this one has a triple bond, so it would be plus three. Six minus five is one, so that would be a positive charge. So let me clean this up first. Positive here. Carbon is found in group 14, so it's four minus number of electrons, lone electrons, zero, plus number of bonds. It forms a triple and a single, so it's four. 4 minus 4 is 0, so it does not have a charge. Now, what we should see here, this should have a negative 2, because a negative 2 plus a single positive would be negative 1, and that would be the charge of our molecule, but let's do it in case. So, 5 valence electrons for nitrogen, minus alone electrons, which is 2, 4, 6, plus the number of bonds, it is a single, so 5 minus 7, which would be a negative 2. So these are our rep representations of OCN minus. So which molecule is the best? Well, let's look down here. Octet is always the best, so the octet will always overrule these three rules. However, we can see that all of these molecules have an octet, so let's keep moving on. Least separation of charges. Okay, this only has a negative, this only has a negative, but this one has a negative two and a positive, so that's a huge charge separation. So this is not good. This would be a minor resonance contributor. It wouldn't contribute really at all to the resonance hybrid, which is a combination of all three. But if on a test it asks for what is the best representation of OCN minus, you'll, you'll soon see. So what's the third rule? Negative formal charge on the most electronegative atom. So let's look up at our periodic table. We know that oxygen is found in group 16, and that is over here. And up here, electronegativity increases as we go from left to right and down and up. Oxygen found here, nitrogen found right here. Oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen, so the oxygen should contain the negative formal charge. So this would be our major resonance contributor. This would also be a minor resonance contributor. However, this contributes more to the molecule than this one. But if it asks for one structure, this would be your answer. So that does it for this video. I hope to help you constructing the OCN minus molecule.